How are you, Ryan? I'm doing great. How are you doing? Great. So at E3 this year, you unveiled the Take Back New York trailer. Tell us about the story behind the division. In the, the CGI, we see the story of one family as we go through with the time lapse, and we see that the family gets falls ill from the virus and how they die. And then we see the effects on the city itself as things start to collapse and, and the chaos kind of starts to take hold. And then we get the division that comes in and who you get to play in this game and in this world and why uh, it's important for you to kind of uh, to take back New York and stand up for those who kind of can't stand for themselves. We see this really cool group of bad guys come out. Tell us about the cleaners. So the cleaners are uh, uh, kind of a roaming group of uh, very, very dangerous uh, gentlemen, as you see in the CGI. Gentlemen, huh? Yes, yes, they're attracted to uh, areas of high contagion, virus, and they're extremely aggressive to anyone they perceive as sick. They are kind of, uh, they've lost it mentally, and anyone that uh, could potentially be sick or is sick or dead bodies, they're burning with their flamethrowers. So, uh, they're also really dangerous in the game, so you're not going to want to take them on by yourself. Let's talk about the gameplay in The Division. All right. Well, The Division is an open-world online action RPG. Uh, we're set in New York City, uh, and the premise of the game is a deadly virus has been released on Black Friday, which has kind of started the collapse of uh, society as we know it in New York, my right. kind of Western society. That causes the president to invoke Directive 51, which activates our players, or our agents. They're trained for these types of catastrophes and then reinserted in society. Are there character classes, or how does that work? Well, we are uh, we like to call ourselves a classless RPG, so we don't want to front load our players with a choice right when you start the game, when you don't know how the game works, or you don't know how you might want to play. So. We'd rather have you discover how you like to play, what weapon types you like, what skills you like, and give you the freedom to make the choice uh, yourself. Talk to me a little bit about the gear. I saw that really cool thing. I think it's called the Firefly, right? Yeah, Firefly. It's a skill which basically goes out and kind of binds the enemy. So another really cool thing that we saw in the gameplay video are those, I think they're called Echoes, right? Yes. What are those Echoes other than something really cool looking? <laughs> That's it. They're, That's just, it. they're really, just really cool looking. Cool. It's an investigation tool. You'll start to be able to gather information from closed circuit cameras, from cell phone conversations, any type of digital information uh, we're constantly collecting into our uh, Clancy Tech, our watch. Now, sometimes those can actually be calculated and uh, projected into a three-dimensional image, which we okay. call Echo. It's not just pretty. It has a, a big function in the game. Another cool thing that we saw in there, base of operations. What, what's that all about? As you kind of raise the security level, you drop the contagion level, you raise the morale of the, uh, the civilians who are still there, eventually you'll be able to open or unlock a base of operations. One. Good game, guys. And these are uh, uh, kind of uh, strongholds or footholds in the areas for our agents that will have direct gameplay benefits for you or your group while you're playing in that area. So when is the Division coming out? Division's coming out 2015 for uh, PC, Xbox One, and PS4.